Hello and welcome back to our study of Penina Halacha, the teachings of Rabbi Eliezer Malamed, Shlita. Here we are, Sof Shavua, Erev Shabbos Kodesh Parshas Nitzavim and Vayelech, the last Shabbos of the year. So this is our last Friday learning of the year. Thank you for joining us for the journey. Please continue to daven for Chalei Tzvagana Yisrael. For Shalem L'chol Petzu'e Yisrael, safe return of our hostages and dedicating our learning L'Eli Nishma, Saren Daniel, Shem Ben Arav Duron Vesheli, Hashem Yekum Demo. The next chapter, Kedusha De Sidra Valetzion. L'achem Yikan Orm Kedusha De Sidra. So after we say Asher in Valetzion, we say something that's called Kedusha De Sidra. Haine P'suke Kadosh 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 V'chulei, Baruch Vod Hashem Yim Kamo, Hashem Yim Loch Le'olam V'oed, Im Targumam La'aramis. So we say those three phrases, which were familiar because they are found in Kedusha. That's why it's called a type of Kedusha, Kedusha de Sidra. And we also say them with Aramaic translation. And the reason why this was established is that anyone who davens, and everyone who davens, should have the merit to learn every day certain verses from Nevi'im. V'tirgim was a pesukim la'aramis, and the reason why it was put into Aramaic, k'day shakol ha'am, shahayur agib loshon aramis, because at the time, the entire nation, that their mother tongue was Aramaic, yohavin es mashmu usam, they should at least understand what they were saying. Hifliku chachamim b'shevach amiraso, sh'achar churum b'sa mikdash, shimin hadvarim shebizchusam ha'olam ha'meid. So Chazal tell us in the Gemara in Sota, the very end of Sota, the last daf in Sota Memtes, that in the praise of it saying that after the destruction of the Beis HaMikdash, this is one of the reasons why the world still stands because we say Kedusha de Sidra. Well, Perish Rashi, Rashi explains there, There are two great aspects of saying this Kedusha de Sidra. First, Ha'achas, Malos Limit HaTorah, it's the study of Torah, and the second, She'osim ha'psukim oskim be'kedusha Hashem. Those verses deal with the sanctity and the holiness of God. So we don't say on Shabbos because, and Shabbos morning that is, because we don't have a requirement of Kedusha de Sidra because we have Navi, Psukim and Navi that are recited in the Haftorah. However, just so that we keep the consistency, we do have Uvalatzion recited. In Shabbos Mincha, Kedei Lahosef B'Shabbos Olimot, so that we should have more learning of Navi, V'miyucha Limon Haosek B'Dikush Hashem, particularly that type of learning which deals with the sanctity of God. Yesh Omrim, Shetiknu Lomar Kedusha De Sidra B'Shal Shegozro Al Yisrael Shal Lomar Kedusha. Some say that this second Kedusha, it's called Kedusha De Sidra, was instituted at a time when the Jewish people had a gzair against them that they could not recite Kedusha. V'hayu HaShotrim Shomrim Al Minyanam Adachah Chazar Sashatz, and the Kedusha police, as it were. They would wait until after Shemona Esrei, until after the repetition, and they would see that there's no Kedusha. And then once they were gone, oh, we'll show you, we'll say second Kedusha. And therefore we kept this even after the Gzera was gone. So it comes out that we actually say Kedusha three times in Shachras. We say it first in the Berchus of Kriyashma. Before Shmon Esrei, Veshuv B'Chazor Sashat, the second time in the repetition of Shmon Esrei, Uba Shlishi is B'Kedusha De Sidra, and then of course this in Uvalat Zion. V'chein Matin Shaharbi Devarim Chashuvim Tikul Lomar Shalosh Pa'amim, Kedug Mastihil Ela David B'Chayom, V'chein Vayichulu Balel Shabbos. And certain important prayers were instituted to recite three times. Like we said yesterday, Asherah is recited three times, and also recites Vayichulu, which is said three times on Friday evenings. Kemo B'Kedusha Gam Similar to the Kedusha that we have, let's say, in the repetition of the Shemona Esrei, we have this give and take where the Chazan and the congregation recite and answer respectively, Kadosh, Kadosh, Baruch, Shein, Kavod, etc. L'shem kach tzorcha chazan lomar v'kol es ha-mishpada makdil l'psukei Kedusha, and therefore the Chazan has to say out loud the prompt so that people know when to answer. Let's hear davening alone. It's better that you should say these psukim with the trap. Because there are some that hold that since these are considered dvarim shebekedusha, you need a minion. However, if you read it with trap, 
And this is just like reading Pesukim and does not require many. If you remember when we discussed the Yud Gimel Midas Rachmin back when we learned the laws of Tachanun, if you're alone, you say Hashem, Hashem. If you read it as Pesukim, that would count if you don't have a minion. Let's say somebody doesn't know the trap or doesn't have the trap in front of them. You could say it without the trap. Because most posts can hold that an individual, even without a minion, can recite Kedusha de Sidra, because this is really just relating how the angels would sanctify Hashem's name. There is an a note here that discusses the similar conversation or machlokas regarding Kedusha that we have before Kriyashma as well. Along with Kedusha de Sidra, so the Gaonim instituted that we should have other verses and requests for atonement, emuna, faith, and Torah. So according to the Siddur of Amram Gon, we say the Nusach that we have, and some, in corner to the city of Rab Sajigon, have a shorter one. But the version that we have today, in other words, the lengthy version of Uvalet Sion after the Kedusha part, all those psukim are what pretty much everyone does with slight variations between different nuschos. Achar Kedusha de Sidra. Omer hachazan kaddish tiskabel. So when we finish kaddish de sidra, the chazan says what we call a full kaddish with tiskabel to lason. Shabob menosef al ikar hakaddish mavakshim che tiskabel to filaseinu. Because after we say yuval etzion and the request in the Torah, we have a request that Hashem should receive our prayers. Tiskabel to lason. Please accept our tefillas, etc. V'lochein tzorach hachazan hakbit shalola daber mechazor sashat svat achar kaddish zeh. And therefore, one who's davening for the omud should make sure not to speak externally from the time of Chazar Sashat until after the Kaddish of Tis Kabel. Well, that brings us to the end of this chapter, the end of the week. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Wishing everybody a peaceful and restful Shabbos. Please continue down for Chalei Tzvagana Yisrael, for Shlem Lechop Etzua Yisrael, safe return of our hostages, Le'ili Nishmas, Seren Daniel Shimon Ben Arav Drom Hashem Kamdamam. Again, wishing everybody a great Shabbos. We'll see you here next week. Thank you so much for listening.